Hello everybody, my name's Corey and welcome back to another video that I haven't done for about two weeks now. Um, sorry it's been so long. Uh, last week I've just been very busy recently, I haven't got a chance to do a video. Uh, but here I am with finally something new. I haven't had something new for maybe two, three weeks. Well I did introduce the beta about two weeks ago but I got it about a month ago really. Um, so yeah, here's the, uh, here's the tank. Quick update on this. This Cessna 4 in the middle here is going mad. I have to trim this in the next week because I don't want this getting too big and just overrunning the tank. So I want to make sure there's enough swimming space for the fish because there's about 20 fish in here. 15 cardinal tetras, one beta fish, two shrimp, one zebra snail because I did lose one, and a bristle nose pleco. I think that's it. Oh, yeah, actually, I admit, well, I don't know if snails count as a fish, but. I've actually got like um maybe fifty plus maybe snails you can't really see them though, but the fighter actually does eat a few. Here he is in top right there. Um, so yeah, there's a quick update on the tank. Uh, main reason I'm doing a video is because of that down there. Um, right, let me take the uh, camera off the tripod here. This down here is a new digital thermometer I've just bought. Uh, is it going to focus? There we go. Uh, as you can see, it says 25.6. Um, yeah, this is it's made by Keynice. So it's got two cables going into it. You can't really see. There's two cables there. One of them, this is actually a great feature of this uh, thermometer, is it's, uh, it's mains powered. Here, so it plugs into like a little USB. So I've got it hooked up to my uh, a Samsung, old Samsung charger. Switched it on and it fired up really easily. Uh, so there's two cables going in, so it won't it going into there, so it's main main powered, so uh, you won't need to worry about it uh, running out of battery or anything. I've got it underneath this bit, so any water drips that come down, they don't just uh, land on it, just in case, just to be safe, and I kind of like it in that spot. Uh, it is stuck there on a sticky pad that does not come with the set, but uh, I've just got uh, quite a lot of those sticky pads lying around, so I... Uh, Stuck it right there. And the second cable going into it goes from it up here, right where the uh, fighter is, up there. Um, it's a little silver bud uh, that will record the temperature of the aquarium, which for a tropical tank, but it depends what fish. If you have discus or, uh, yeah, discus, they stay at like 29, 30 degrees uh, Celsius. Uh, but for this tank, community tank with some cardinal tetras and a fighter, uh, you're looking around in between safe zone 24 and 26. I keep mine in between 25.2 and 25.8. So about half a degree there uh, because of this Eheim heater. So much better than the uh, dual uh, heaters. So if you have a dual one, you could upgrade to an Eheim because this, they're a lot more reliable and it will keep your water in a shorter uh, temperature radius, I think the word is. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, there's the thermometer. Uh, I think it's really... Actually, I have the box still in here. Uh, well, previously... The first temperature probe I had is the little Aqua One Digital in the top right. That was actually doing pretty uh, pretty good until the battery ran out. Um, maybe like a few weeks, maybe a month in. Um, then I upgraded to this. Um, the little, I don't know if you would call it analog. I don't know. Uh, it's not this, well a non-digital thermometer. Hasn't got any sticky pads, so sometimes it would move around with the flow. Not all over the tank, just it would stay in that corner uh, where I placed it, and the fighter might usually nip at it or whatever. Um, so have I got the box? Oh, I got it right here. Already got it out. Let's start the video. So uh, let's put it on top of here. Um, so there it says key nice digital thermometer. On the back, it's just Chinese right in. Just sort of just the barcode. Um, and this is like the size of it. 
Measurement range minus 50 degrees to plus 110 degrees, of which you, you don't want any of those in, in your tank. Accuracy um, 0.5 degrees C. Um, I don't know, I'm not really too sure what that means. Um, probe cord length 1 meter, I think that's a meter. Um, so it does spread from there to the main and from there to up there. Um, yeah, you can take a picture, screenshot this if you want that info right there. Uh, yeah, top. this is actually from Amazon for about £13. So if you're just starting up an aquarium, I really expect, I really um, advise you to get one of these. Uh, because they're really, really accurate, and it's just mains powered, so they'll never break unless you put, get water on it. So um, I recommend keeping it in a safe place, like I've done under a little ledge, so if any water drips down, I won't get it. Um, oh, do you like my new... I've got a little box where I keep all my uh, fish stuff, so I've got fish, we've got my algae wafers, spectrum, i um, feed this new spectrum now. This is Thera A. Um, so it's got a little bit of garlic in it, I think. Um, see the focus. Why isn't it focusing today? Um, so yes, yeah, so it only the fight will eat this only because it's a little bit bigger. Um, the cardinals, as you can see, are, well, that was weird. Um, they're only small, so uh, they can't really fit it in their mouths that much. Uh, so they'll eat the uh, what I'm, what I'm usually feeding. Uh, the kind of final one, it's nearly this kind of sand, maybe a little bit bigger than the, than the sand. Um, yeah, uh, still, got, still got some flake in here, I, I never feed this flake, uh, really, um, so I never really need to. Yeah, I'm just going to adjust the camera a little bit, hold on. Okay, yeah, sorry about that. Um, so yeah, I've just got some spare pipe in here, the snail trap I took out. Test strips, CO2, for, syringe for the CO2, um, which I'm doing 2 mil a day now, just to give the plants an extra boost of uh, growth and health. Uh, you can see they're doing really well in the tank. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot I have two quarries down there as well. Uh, they are very slowly gaining confidence in the tank. They are pretty shy. Um... So well, they're not, well, they're only a little bit shy. They have got better and they have got bigger. Uh, all the fish in there have got bigger, especially the pleco. He's nearly, I would say he's, he would have doubled his size in a, in about another two months. They will get, I've seen a bristlenose at like a foot long. Uh, they'll probably get, my mum will probably get like, in this tank, max size, six inches, six inches. Uh, so probably the length of the front of this rock to that to that uh, tip of that rock to the length there. Um, hopefully I'll be getting looking for an upgrade of this tank maybe at Christmas or whatever. Might go a little bigger. Uh, just I could, I could do a transfer. Maybe just do something a really big, um, a little bigger, like a Drawrio 125. That would look really good with these plants. It's just this on a bigger scale, which is actually an extra 20 centimetres long. Um, let's chuck a big external on it. Look really good. Um, so, yeah, I think I'll leave the video here on the key nice thermometer down there. Uh, really suggest, I uh, really, really recommend you get one of them. Um, even if you've already got a good one, I uh, this is actually really cheap. Thirteen pounds. You've got a digital thermometer. It's mains powered. Uh, delivery from Amazon. You can yeah. I think you might be able to get them from eBay. I think I've seen them off eBay as well. Um, aquarium stores may have them. I doubt it though because you can actually use it for uh, room temperature as well as aquariums. Um, so yeah. Hope you enjoyed the key nice thermometer video. Uh, you'll see me hopefully another week. I'll try not to. I'll try and do videos uh, once a week. I'll try not to skip one uh, like I did last week. Uh, sorry about that again. Um, I don't think I'll be introducing anything else. 
but um, it's always good to see an update once a week on the uh, growth and uh, well, anything that's new, uh, like the thermometer. Um, so yeah, uh, see me in a week. Bye.